Astro the Tiny Bot is finally getting his own big game, and I believe that this upcoming title will be one of the most fun-filled games to ever be created. Here's everything you need to know. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone, and today we have a brand new episode of Thinking Out Loud. The show where I explore a variety of interesting and exciting gaming topics and share my honest thoughts with you all. Today's hot topic is the upcoming Astrobot game, which in my opinion will be a must play for all types of gamers. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So what exactly is this Astrobot game? Well, in simple terms, it is a single player 3D action platformer said to be bursting with adventures, hidden bots, fun power-ups, challenges leading to delightful secrets, boss battles, collectibles, and more. But this title will be so much more than that because it's being developed by Team Asobi, the same developers behind Astro's Playroom, which comes free with the PS5 to showcase the DualSense controller's capabilities, and Astrobot's Rescue Mission, which is a VR title. So in order to set the scene and fully appreciate the announcement of this Astrobot game, let's briefly discuss Astro's Playroom, which like I said comes free with the PlayStation 5 and has been available since the console's launch. Now, if you haven't played this game before, it is seriously so much fun. It's definitely a highlight in my gaming experience between how vibrant the worlds are, how refined the controls are for platforming, combat, and exploration, how amazingly satisfying the DualSense controller functions are. I remember the first time I played this game, I felt like I was living in the future. Actually, the way the controller feels when you walk on different types of terrain, how the rain feels when it's falling, the resistance of the adaptive triggers when pulling on wires, for example. You might have felt these features in other games, but seriously, none have done it like the Astro's Playroom game did. I really thought this technology was going to change the way we experienced games in this new generation, but to be honest, I feel like very few games have fully taken advantage of the controller's capabilities, and Astro's Playroom just shoots for the the stars with what it accomplishes. It's really something you literally have to feel with your hands to understand just how immersive this controller technology makes your gaming experience. So I can't wait to see how the functions are implemented in the new Astrobot game because now we're four years past the launch of the PS5, so I feel like it could have only improved since then. It's hard to put into words if you haven't played the title how good Astro's Playroom was that many fans like myself have been basically begging for him to get his own full-sized adventure, which he will have soon. So now that you have some background information, let's talk about the new Astrobot game. Let's start with what we know so far about the story of this game, which is that the mothership, which appears to be the PS5, has been wrecked by Astro's alien rival, leaving his crew scattered across multiple galaxies. So it's up to you to help Astro rescue his stranded bot buddies and rebuild the mothership. This will involve visiting over 50 exciting planets to discover across six galaxies with your dual speeder ship, and each planet is said to be unique, offering a variety of themes and landscapes. So far, the team has described lush forests, sandy beaches, scorching volcanoes, a giant hourglass, the canopy of a singing tree, sky gardens, spooky graveyards, and undersea cities. And just from the trailer alone, we've seen a really nice variety of sets, including some of those previously listed, but also snowy and icy environments, a futuristic set, a city in the clouds, underground caves, a casino-inspired set, a zen Japanese-inspired landscape, a shipwreck, and honestly, probably more. Seriously, if these environments alone aren't music to your eyes, I don't know what would be. Now, to get help on Astro's mission, you can use over 15 new abilities, offering unique playstyles, which are said to take full advantage of the DualSense controller with its haptic feedback and adaptive triggers, so this in particular, of course, is really exciting to me. Powers we've been introduced to so far include Barkster, the Bulldog Booster, which lets you air dash and smash through enemies, metal and glass. There's also the Twin Frog Gloves that offer long range punching and the ability to swing, and the Giant Sponge that lets you suck up water from the environment to grow huge and cause massive destruction, <laughs> apparently. Plus, the team also more recently shared the Monkey Climber ability, which is a small ape bot with big hands to help Astro scale sheer surfaces and gigantic foes. 
We've also seen a stopwatch that appears to temporarily freeze time, a penguin which might help us with underwater traversal, the robot chicken backpack, and also this armor suit, which it seems Astro can shrink into for protection. We can also see how the dual senses motion controls will likely be implemented in gameplay, from soaring through the sky atop Astro's controller-shaped ship, and spraying rainbow paint, to using the controller as a water hose and rolling down a hill in a giant snowball. Some of these mechanics might also use the touchpad on the controller, which is actually incredibly precise if you've never used it before. It's also said that Astro's controls are improved, which combined with these powers will take this platforming experience to new heights. However, the team has assured us that it will remain accessible for all. So if you're new to platformers, this seems like it'll be a great one to start out with and can be fun for the whole family. With new powers come new enemies, as there are said to be over 70 new types, including gigantic bosses at the end of each galaxy. Galaxy. So far we've seen the big baddie who is Astro's alien rival, but also a giant gorilla, a giant octopus, a giant cobra, a giant bird, and a giant genie in a lamp. Okay, maybe all the bosses are giant. Apparently defeating each boss will uncover a wonderful secret, but the team doesn't want to spoil this, which I'm curious about, but I very much appreciate. For those who enjoy more of a challenge, there's also something called die and retry levels to test your skills and reflexes. As we can see from the trailer, Astro will reunite with many friends from the PlayStation universe, and while the trailer only shows a few, the team has doubled down on the cast, hoping to delight fans of many different PlayStation titles. This includes over 150 iconic VIP bots inspired by legendary characters from 30 years of PlayStation history. And as a PlayStation girly who's had a console for basically as long as I can remember, I'm really excited to see which specific PlayStation characters are going to be included as cute little bots. The team has also teased that maybe this time the characters will play an even bigger part with saving the day, so I'm excited to see how this ultimately plays out. Plus, you can use the coins you collect on your travels in the Gotcha Lab to unlock special items for your rescued friends, and when a VIP bot is reunited with their unique item, they'll perform special actions from the classic games that inspired them. I think this is going to be so charming. And speaking of collecting coins, we have already seen in the trailer that the little smashable boxes are making a return as just one one of the many methods of collecting the in-game currency. There's also the return of collectible puzzle pieces, which were used to create murals in Astro's playroom, so perhaps we can expect something similar in Astrobot. Also, to be clear, this is all just in-game for fun, and the team has confirmed that there will be no in-game purchases. And the best part is that we already have a release date for this title, and it's not too far off. Astrobot will be coming exclusively to the PlayStation 5 on September 6th, and I cannot wait to play. I am so excited. I cannot even express my level of excitement to you guys. It is through the roof. I will definitely be replaying Astro's Playroom ahead of Astrobot's launch, but I'm curious to see what other details the team might choose to share about this game ahead of its September release. If you are interested in getting the game, it's important to know that there are two editions. So there's the standard edition, which is just the game itself and is available physically or digitally. And there's also the digital deluxe edition, which comes with some extra bonus outfits, dual speeder colors, PSN avatars, a soundtrack, and an art gallery. There are also pre-order bonuses available for all editions with a bonus poster coming as a pre-order bonus for the physical edition specifically. And I always say this, but if you can, I would recommend getting the physical edition just to help support physical media because I really want physical games to stick around. But it is kind of a shame that we can't get a physical deluxe edition, but maybe the extra items will be available as a digital add-on. We'll have to wait and see. So that's everything I think you need to know to get started with Astrobot and my thoughts on this upcoming release. But what do you think? In a recent poll, I asked whether you are going to be playing the new Astrobot game that's releasing on September 6th. And 39% of you said you don't have a PS5, so no. And 36% of you said who's Astrobot. So I hope this video helped introduce you a little bit to the Astrobot franchise. And if you don't have a PS5, I'm curious to know what your preferred console is down in the comments. Are you a Switch gamer? Maybe a Steam Deck user? Xbox? PC? Do you not have a console at all and you just prefer to watch gameplay? I'm really curious, so let me know. 10% of you are undecided, so I hope some of my hype can maybe help you make up your mind. If you have a PlayStation 5 and you're undecided, 
please download Astro's Playroom. It is free. It is free and it's basically a whole game. Yeah, it's like somewhat short. You can, you know, go through it in probably one sitting if you really wanted to, which you might want to because it's that good. But definitely at least try out Astro's Playroom. You're going to probably be hooked and you're definitely going to want to play Astro Bot when it comes out. And 14% of you are like me and are super hype for this game. So for that 14%, I see you and know that I'm super excited too. So I'm totally in this hype with you. Well, there you have it friends. I hope this video served as a nice introduction to the Astrobot universe. As you can probably tell, I'm very excited for this game, not just for what it will have to offer in terms of its experience and gameplay, but also how it may contribute to the industry as a whole. This is a really big deal for PlayStation, in my opinion, to really lean into this sort of a title that's bright and light and can appeal to so many different gamers. As always, please feel free to share your thoughts down in the comments. Anything and everything, you know I always love hearing from you. Please go ahead and shine the lovely like button if you enjoyed today's video and with all that being said thank you so much for watching i love you all and until next time take care